Jersey intends to remain the leader, not only in turning around the national trend of out-of-control spending and taxes, but in finding the path to growth. We need much bigger and bolder education reform. And we need steps to save our pension system. And we need to adapt the entire toolkit, which will help us stem the growth of property taxes. So have no doubt, we are not turning back, not on my watch. All right, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie delivering his State of the State yesterday. This is a live shot of New Jersey looking well plowed this morning. Uh, welcome gotcha. back to Morning Joe. Mark Alperin still with us and joining the table, New Jersey's Republican Governor Chris Christie. Welcome back. I'm happy to be back, Mika. Thank How you are the roads in New Happy Jersey this morning? Roads in New Jersey, it all looks good so far. Yeah. It looks good so far. We're working. Very good. And uh, your speech yesterday, State of the State, uh, were you pleased with how it went? I was really happy with the way it went. You know, we we tried, we decided to do something very different. You know, you've sat through a bunch of State of the Unions and maybe some State of the States over time. They usually tend to be these long laundry list things where you try to think of one thing to say about every program or right. every department. And I said, no, that's not the way we're doing things. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the big things. And we just talked about three things in a, about a half an hour speech. You know, keeping the line on fiscal discipline, pension and benefit reform, and education reform. And those are the three things we're going to be working on this year. Are you stunned by how Jerry Brown and Andrew Cuomo, progressive Democrats, have actually adopted a lot of your, your approaches to government? In fact, they've reached out to you. Well, listen, they've looked at the books. I mean, this is this not, isn't about you. This is about debt. Yeah, right? this is about this is not philosophical. And I think that's the greatest thing that when you see Andrew Cuomo and Jerry Brown doing it, and me and John Kasich and and Scott Walker in Wisconsin doing it, it's because it's not about philosophy. It's about reality. And they're looking at the reality of what they're dealing with. And they said, you know, we don't have the money, we can't print it, uh, and we have to fix this. So it's time to cut away. And I, I, I was glad to see Governor Brown and Governor Cuomo doing those things because it validates what New Jersey is doing. And I told everybody when I ran, if, if I won, we were going to do things that were going to set a national model. And, and that's what we've done. Let's talk about Illinois for a second. Illinois has increased their property taxes by, what, 75%? <laughs> Come on. Listen, it's a Income tax by 66%. Um, can you imagine somebody doing that, a uh, governor doing that, while unemployment is uh, hovering around real unemployment around 15 percent, 19 percent? Yeah, I talked about it yesterday in my state of the state. I talked about Illinois specifically. So that's the, the, the other vision. And I, I think that's because Governor Quinn made all kinds of promises to the public sector unions to get reelected in Illinois, and now he's got to deliver on them. And, and i, I got to tell you, in New Jersey, that wouldn't be tolerated, mm. and we're not going to do it. Uh, and what it's going to do is make Illinois even less competitive um, oh, yeah. than it is already. And well, I tell you, the, the happiest people are Scott Walker in Wisconsin and mm -hmm. Terry Branstad in Iowa and, uh, and, and, you know, Mitch Daniels in Indiana. And they're, they're, they're going to take they're the job.